All right, here is the GT210 from NVIDIA. Uh, this is actually the Galaxy version of it, and basically this is the kind of replacements for the 9300, 9400, 9500 series graphics cards, just like the uh, GTS 250 replaced the 9800 GT and the 9800 GTX Plus. This is going to do the same thing for the new line. So what does it do? Uh, it gives you a very, very uh, budget card to cost very little money, but it gives you all the newest modern features. Uh, so you're getting the pure HD video, which is going to be something that's really important for people that are buying this card. Uh, you're not necessarily buying it for gaming, you're buying it uh, so your Windows 7 looks really nice, your Arrow works well, so that your video and your Blu-ray and your HD stuff uh, looks fantastic so that you can encode stuff on iTunes faster than normal, uh, so that you can do that kind of stuff. You can process videos to put on Facebook or on YouTube faster. You can do all that kind of stuff faster uh, with this card, and of course this will play uh, HD video it'll play multiple instances of HD videos so if you have two blu-ray files you can play them both at the same time and it'll output one to one monitor and one to the other monitor and it'll do it both at 1080p that's the power that's inside of this so if your uh, processor is actually not powerful enough to play a blu-ray movie it doesn't really matter you only need to have a certain amount of processing power because the graphics card is going to take up the slack and do the rest of the work using the pure video HD uh, so pretty much using the GPU to encode that video and put it on your screen to render it very quickly quickly and simply uh, and use very little power. Now speaking of very little power, this is a 40 nanometer card. So this is one of the first uh, NVIDIA cards that are running on the new manufacturing process, which means it's going to be cleaner, it's going to be more efficient, and if for whatever reason you wanted to overclock this thing uh, to give it just a tiny little bit of boost in performance, uh, it should give you a pretty nice little overclock. So very nice card uh, the GT210 is, and it's got a lot of good stuff on it. Let's talk a little bit about specifications now. First of all, uh, GPU core clock on this card uh, clocks in at uh, 589 megahertz, so it's a little bit slower than the GT220. Uh, it does have 16 shader cores or ALUs, uh, so not a lot of cores, but they are clocked quite fast at 1402 megahertz. There's also 512 megabytes of DDR2, which compared to the GT220 has one gigabyte of DDR3, so it's got a little bit less, a little bit more affordable. Uh, it's GDDR2 at 500 megahertz and a 64-bit wide memory interface. That gives you a total of 8 gigabytes per second of memory throughput. Uh, through this card, so that means you have 8 gigabytes of memory that can feed the GPU that fast. That's going to give you good performance for videos uh, and basic gaming. You can play uh, at lower resolutions, pretty much all the Steam games, the Half-Life 2 games, based games, uh, will play very well. You can play a little bit of Call of Duty on a small monitor. Uh, as you crank up the resolution, though, this becomes more apparent that this is not a gaming card. Uh, it will uh, begin to stutter at, on the more modern games, but if you have old games so that you've been playing for a while, it will play fantastically well. Uh, what we're seeing nowadays is that uh, the hardware is catching up to the games. The games are not that advanced anymore. Even the newer games uh, run on less of a card. You don't need to have a super powerful card. So uh, these do have all the modern features. So you do have uh, physics, uh, DirectX 10.1, uh, which is sort of new. It's not DirectX 11 just yet, but it is 10.1. Uh, this does work on the CUDA uh, API, so you can do parallel processing on here. You can also do uh, OpenCL parallel processing through their GPU and their API GPU. Um, you also have the Direct Compute, which is Microsoft's API for GPU computing, uh, basically general purpose uh, GPU computing. Uh, so you can do all that through here. And then the main things that were really important were the PureHD stuff, which gives you uh, the ability to decode 1080p, decode 5.1 channel Dolby Audio, send it all out through the HDMI cable to a big TV, um, and give you uh, high bandwidth digital content protection, which is going to let you play Blu-rays and play like the, the copyrighted files that you wouldn't normally be able to play on your TV. Well, if you have the cable, you have the TV, and you have this, and they're all HDCP compliant, you will be able to play those with no problem. So it makes this card uh, extremely versatile, really good for people that just want a lot of video. Uh, you know, a lot of video capabilities on their computer. They don't really necessarily want to game, but they want to make sure that when they play a video in HD, it, it comes out in HD and looks awesome. So, uh, very sweet little card and extremely, extremely affordable, extremely efficient. Uh, as far as power supplies goes, you don't really need much. A, a 300 to 250 watt is pretty much going to do just about everything you want with it, uh, unless you have a really fast Core i7 system, and you might need a little more power for the CPU and your memory. But if you have a basic Core 2 system or Core 2 quad system uh, with a card like this, 300 watts is pretty much going to cut it. Uh, so you don't need a lot. And uh, just so you guys know, as far as connectivity goes, uh, this is what you get basically. This is a uh, uh, dual link DVI port. We'll do up to 2560 by 1600 at uh, 60 hertz. You do have a HDMI port. 
uh, right there. So that will do the 5.1 channel HD auto and 1920x1080p video out. And then you have a traditional 15-pin uh, D-sub VGA port for hooking up a CRT or a newer LCD that doesn't have a DVI. So that's basically the connectivity you have. And if you want to do uh, multi-monitor support, of course, you can definitely do it. Uh, there are no adapters included in the box with this version. So if you have a two DVI monitors, you're going to need a VGI uh, VGA to DVI adapter or uh, vice versa, a DVI to VGA if you have two VGA ports. So keep that in mind. Uh, besides that, great card, very small, low profile. Uh, as far as the way it fits in the, in the case, it is a regular size profile on the back, single slot, uh, very small little cute fan. It's kind, of, it's kind of small and adorable. But uh, really good stuff. GT210 from NVIDIA. Uh, oh. G2205 now. Uh, but basically, a uh, good all-around card. Uh, if you're that kind of person that's walking through the store going, I don't know what to get, and you don't really know what you need, then you probably don't need much, and this is going to suit you uh, just fine. So good stuff. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Galaxy GT210, go to com.pewter.tv and type in Galaxy GT210. For Computer TV, I'm Albert.